G'day, g'day, Rob here, and welcome to Outback Vaping. <clears throat> I'm going to introduce myself first, as I just did, uh, otherwise known as Blurt. Anyway, I'm going to try and concentrate on doing used mod reviews. So, basically stuff that's been around a little bit longer. I've used it for a while, put it through the ringer, so, yeah, we'll leave it at that. Uh, I also cover builds from time to time, a bit of juice making, other bits and pieces. I've only been vaping since the 3rd of April this year and um, still learning and uh, would like to bring you guys along for the ride and yeah, give you my opinion as I go. So anyway, today I'm going to go over the Ages Legend. Basically because I've had it a while, I've put it through the ringer, it's my all day beater, something I take to work all the time. Um, first of all, Packaging. We've all seen the packaging. Everybody's seen the ages by now. We know what the basics are. So, not going to worry about that too much. Next up, we're going to go over basic things that everybody looks at to start off with. First thing we're going to look at is paint. So, we'll have to say, paint isn't holding up to flash in some places on it. Um, this outside strip, the paint on this is definitely a lot better than um, the rest of it. Well, seems to be, anyway. If you have a look at the button, here's another thing. A lot of people have been saying that they think that the buttons are plastic. They are not. Definitely not. The proof is in the pudding. Right there, you can see it. So you can see on the bottom, it's wearing off on the corners and on the top, well, and I've only had this for about three months, so yeah, it's uh, the paint is not holding up. Everywhere else is fine. Now, I've dropped this, I've even ran over it with the car, um, not intentionally. <laughs> um, I was at work, stuck it on the roof. Drove off, fell off the back, ran over it with the trailer with about a tonne and a half of wood in it, and yeah. So, the other day I dropped it about three metres. Um, I work on roofs, cleaning solar panels and gutters and all the horrible jobs nobody else wants to do. And when I dropped it off the roof, you see here, just there, it pinched the rubber, because there's a little lip. Have a look around the whole side here, nice little lip, so what happened when it hit the ground, it pinched that rubber up against the door and split it, so, there, that there's that side of it, the leather, or they say it's leather, is extremely, extremely stain resistant, if you have a real close look around the outside edge, I covered mine in a permanent marker, a UV texture, and um, it lasted about 48 hours and rubbed off. So that's all that's left. Now I've coated this like three times in that stuff, and each time it only lasts about 48 hours, so extremely stain resistant. Um, stain resistant, as I said, I've dropped it, I've ran over it, so it's extremely shock resistant, and um, I take it in the shower with me on a regular basis, sit it on the windowsill, stick me out, have a couple of puffs, Occasionally I'll chuck it in the kitchen sink, give it a rinse off, give it a wash, and um, clean it right up. One thing I have noticed with it though, is, let's take the batteries out. If you have a look in here, it is a dust magnet. Any tiny little bits of fluff that are in the air seem to just want to stick to that. So every so often I'll get a baby wipe or a cotton bud, give it a bit of a clean out, especially in the back corners, dirt builds up. So, and yeah, just keep that nice and clean to help keep that nice watertight seal that it's got. Um, as I said, I'm not going to go over the other stuff too much. Hang on, put the batteries back in here. One of the other things a lot of people look at is the screen, the glass. Um, this thing is definitely a fingerprint magnet. So... I don't know if you can see, but yeah, I can on my end, but I will say it scrubs up nicely every time. That's 
So, no scratches, no dings, no nothing. Even after running over it the whole lot. Um, three months in, still turned off. Three months in, that pin has not backed off. It is still tight as tight can be. Same with the buttons. Everything's still nice and clickly, almost clickly, clicky. It's pretty much got the same tension as the day I brought it. So I'm absolutely loving that. Um, definitely a good all day beta work mod. A little bit on the heavy side, a um, little bit on the slightly larger side. Wouldn't say it's them holding it this way with the button at the front. Definitely a lot more comfortable than this way. Um, I found personally, it will hold a 30 millimeter Addy. And um, yeah, highly recommend this as a work mod. Um, not much else I can say about it. Oh, screws. Also, paint has not lasted on any of my screws. So that's another thing, and I haven't removed these. And um, also, one other thing I did forget, <laughs> and I forgot it because I've never used it, is the uh, USB point. I have never taken that out because I don't charge any batteries in mods so and I haven't gotten around to updating it yet I'm pretty slack but I get battery life that lasts me all day um, I do vape on the slightly higher side though so we'll put a tank on it one two three four five turn it on Ooh, can we see that nah, not too good anyway Ooh, anyway See it turns on, fires up. Um, yeah, can't complain about it. And uh, rocking 0.46 ohm, 59 watts, and 11 amps and 5.26 volts. So. And yeah, pretty happy with it. Highly recommended. As an all day mod, probably give it a 6 out of 10. And as a uh, work mod, beta mod, uh, 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10. I don't think there's anything that's going to quite hold up to the beating that this thing's taken. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. See you next time.